Alright, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. We uh, did all the Wes Dickerson's uh, missions. Did a horse races, carriage race. Um, now I'm going to do uh, Isaac, or Irish, I think his name is. Missions. Where we can get things on the ball. Oh. Oh, yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving me cunt. You got it all wrong, Wes. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. Boy, oh. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the map. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mother. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave them be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Who the hell invited you? Oh, hell, better than Wales. When Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Follow me, fella. Already, my guardian angel, this way. This ain't nice, I know. It's too far to walk. Mount up, fellas. Come on, then. Let's find this boy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that's why there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, we always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Yeah. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the rage. I'm better from long range. Yeah, where's your paper, gun? Trust me. I feel like this is set up. Thank <laughs> you. 
now you don't want to talk. Yeah? Looks like I'm really yours, huh? Yeah, I knew it. Where's it's the guy here? here? That lion sack of shit! save it. I see you. Get away from me. Right here. I guess he is a drunk. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I, I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. Oh, I love 
be headless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as red. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between hair and medley. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's worse like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners think we'll have an about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spiky bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Easy there. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me silences. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy! <laughs>
Get your carts being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. What a beautiful weapon! God's own gun, ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed that and put it down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill!
Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode.